Today on the microgrid, the 10 minute time frame, we discovered a decaying fractal here. Okay, when it began to fall, we shorted decaying fractal. In the meantime, we're mapping the market and what happened on the decaying fractal, we have a growth fractal. Leg, bump, bump. That was the bottom. Now we're ma mapping the market. Currently, we have typical slider here. Okay, that's market top. Now, if we go above the top of the fractal here, decaying fractal, it turns into growth and it'll turn up. Okay, so what we're doing all day long, mapping the market, the turns. Okay, D stands for decay, G stands for growth. D stands for decay. D, that's a short growth, that's a long, D, that's a short. The other channels aren't showing anything. Okay, so again, uh, we're timing the market, applying the simple fractals. All you're doing is looking at a picture. You got a picture here, you have a picture here, and you have a picture here. Okay, there's no need for any fancy analysis or trading systems. I mean, it, 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 it's so obvious, really. Look, decay, growth, decay. Now, if we break uh, below here, we're going to turn a lot lower. But in the meantime, we have to watch what happens here because another growth fractal might appear and then it'll be turning up. Right now, but uh, we have a typical uh, slider top here. Uh, leg, slide, leg, uh, top. If you're short from here, which we did this morning, you're pretty good shape. Uh, definite uh, stock here would be around 84, uh, 70. Uh, that would be point to add to the trade long. But again, we have to find, we have to wait and find out what happens here. Okay. Again, um, a good example of using fractals uh, for market timing. We're doing this on a, a 10 minute time frame, but you can do it on an hour time frame. Daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Hank Wernicke, signing off.